333-334, Ohio State at Purdue. Looks like the Buckeyes, two touchdowns on the road, 65 and a half the total. Ed, um, I, I, I know you had a little beat on Ohio State when we were talking uh, kind of off camera. Would you look to lay uh, two touchdowns here um, with, with the Buckeyes? Yeah, absolutely. We got to talk about the Ohio State defense. Uh, this is a unit that okay. has really held this team together over the last three years. It's been excellent top five in my adjusted yards per play every season. Uh, they've really fallen off a cliff this year. They're, they're, they're really not playing well. Oregon State put up a, up a bunch of points at the horseshoe. Uh, they couldn't stop TCU. Um, you know the talent's there. Urban Meyer recruits a lot of talented guys. And when, you, when, when I was projecting this team, I wasn't really thinking about the defense. I just kind of assumed the defense would be good. I was wondering if Haskins could get the job done. Well, it's pretty clear Haskins is getting the job done at quarterback. Uh, but the defense uh, has struggled. You really think they would figure, th- you know, if, if they were ever going to figure things out, it was going to be at home against a pretty bad Minnesota offense. Uh, the defensive line got whipped by Minnesota's offensive line. I, I don't know if there's any other way to put it. Um, it was, it was, uh, th- this unit's really struggling. And it gets a lot harder against a very good Purdue offense on the road this week. Um, I, I, I like Purdue side. I think I like the over in this game, if you can get it at 65. Uh, I, I, you, you, give, you should give Ohio State the benefit of the doubt. But it's also a half season that we've really seen the defense struggle. And uh, it, it, you start to get a little bit more certain every week that they're, that they're not really the unit that you thought they might be uh, earlier this season. Big man, what about you? Any opinion on uh, Ohio State at Purdue here in the Big Ten? Yeah, I agree with Ed. I mean, I'm looking over the number here. Uh, Purdue is turned into basically West Kentucky. Uh, that, that's what they are now. They throw the ball a lot. Uh, they ran it actually quite effectively last week against uh, Illinois. But th- this team is a team that likes to throw the ball around. They have that new quarterback, Blau, who has been pretty effective for them. They have some real talent. Uh, Rondell Moore is a uh, Really good young player for Purdue. Um, I think they put up some points. I, I don't know if they hang in this game because defensively, Purdue are pretty bad. Um, I, I'd expect them to give points up in this game. Um, but Ohio State's kind of a freight train on offense, so they should be able to put up 40 or at least 40 in this game. I think it's like a 47, I don't know, 28 type of game, 47, 24, something like that. Uh, I'm not sure Purdue can hang around. I mean, they are at home here, which – this would be a great game for that fan base, but I don't know. Ohio State's kind of on a different level. I've kind of learned uh, betting against them uh, in games like this, you know, where the number maybe is a little too low. Uh, I would have put it like 17 and a half, but, um, you know, Ed, I had to trust his numbers as well. I'm looking more towards the side, not, not a, not, or no more to the total, not a side. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to our channel. Now we've put a lot of work into producing all these free videos, so please help us out and keep all our content free for you forever by simply liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Now not to mention a visit to our industry leading website will warm the hearts of all our SBR employees, especially myself. Now the links are over there to the left, uh, so do check those out. Thanks for watching.